the ammo collection used to just sit on top of a cabinet and it was overflowing. I was going on the road and collecting, going to gun shows and stuff, and I would bring stuff home and throw it on the pile. Bring stuff home and throw it on the pile. So what I did since the pile was overflowing is put the pile into these drawers. And what we're gonna do in this series of videos is explore the drawers. So let's get to it. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a new item that we've uh, created for the gear website store. And it's a 3D printed uh, tray for displaying uh, cartridge collections. So this is the seven, six, a portion of a 762 by 39 collection. Uh, it's on three stripper clips. This is a, a samples that be put together a couple years ago, I think, at this point. Uh, each of those stripper clips are different, so they're kind of cool. Each of those 30 rounds is completely different. And uh, it's neat to see the projectiles and the cases and the different coatings and stuff. However, a portion of it is the primers and you really can't get to them when they're on stripper clips like that. So we've been thinking about, I've been thinking about how to get a, uh, a way to show off a collection that shows off some of the neat things about the 762 by 39 round. And I came up with the idea of stacking them on a shelf in some sort of a display rack and then it I was kind of sketching it out and it just ended up looking like the curve of a magazine and then it hit me. What if I kind of made a 3D replica of a magazine, drilled the holes in it and have that set there and then it gives it more of a kind of tie-in with the uh, cartridge itself. So that's what we tried out. Went to the software and created uh, this the 3D image of the magazine based off of a photograph and then uh, took that 3D image and sunk some holes in it, took it over to the printer and uh, started to print off some versions of it. Now the first couple of prototypes that we made, uh, so some of them are made in this PETG material. It's a plastic that's the same material as the, the screw on tops of a milk jug. So it's kind of a soft material and it it's some detail but not a heck of a lot of detail so I printed some of them with that white material and then I printed some of them in that red a different type of plastic that uh, can print a lot more finer details and what happens is the holes were a little off size in my prototypes I didn't know if I should go too big or go tight uh, around the cartridges and it turns out I should have gone a little tighter so uh, in the final versions the holes are completely uniform in some of these early prototypes you can see that some of the holes are larger than others and I didn't make them large enough to hold like a 754 uh, or 762 by 54 R uh, they were just a little bit kind of sloppy for a, an AR or a 762 by 39 round but it was too sloppy and it they, they didn't fall down or fall out but they wouldn't necessarily be have any reason to stand up straight if you knocked the tray over or if you adjusted it or picked it up so I basically decided to make the holes more uniform and a little bit tighter and uh, as they uh, now when you put the uh, cartridges in the display uh, they you can pick it up and move it around and no issues with them um, shifting around falling out for sure uh, or uh, just shifting really so that you have to arrange them every time you set it down so the design seems to be working pretty good we put the design over on a place called cults 3d which is a kind of a social platform for people that create 3d drawings a place for you to offer them uh, to share or to sell so we've got them up there for sale seven dollars and 62 cents for the 3d uh, file you can kind of see how this first one with the bigger holes, they could kind of flop around a little bit. That was too much play. So we tightened up the holes on the final product. So uh, the file is $7.62, and then you can print it off yourself or have it printed. Or we have uh, prints that we make here in Tucson available over at our gear website store. And those are up on the store now this week. And whenever you're listening to this, they should still be available over there. At this point, we'll have them up there in red. I don't think I'll be printing any more in that white material. Uh, I might. Let us know if you want to see it in a, in a different color. But uh, I've just been using the colors. I'm using up some of the colors of spools that we had from a Christmas project. I figured Kami red would work. 
So uh, yeah, we have these available, or you can grab the file and print them yourself or have someone you know print them for you. They take a little while, they take about seven hours to print, but uh, I can't imagine they use that much material, so they probably don't cost very much to print. So we do appreciate the people that uh, buy them by the file. Uh, that helps us out with our projects and keeps our uh, uh, things online and lets us uh, buy the software to do projects like this uh, or do the editing for projects like this. And uh, anybody that buys the products themselves, again, that's uh, much appreciated. It helps us uh, kill the bills and keep our mind on Second Amendment projects. So with that, we'll end this one and say thanks again. Uh, for people that are interested in stuff that we're doing over here. Uh, if you want to see more of the how-to, check out our Gear Websites channel where we talk about the uh, technical side of the printing. Let us know in the comments what you think. So let us know what you think. We'll be watching the comments wherever you find the video over on GunStreamer.com or on GunTube.org. Thank you for supporting our projects. If you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, Check out our Patreon channel. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourages you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thank you for watching GunWebsites.com.